Now that all the parameters surrounding virtual implant placement have been established, it's time to design a surgical guide to be 3D printed. Begin by confirming that Blue Sky Plan is set in advanced mode. The uploaded model used to design the case is visible under the STL surface heading and that the visibility has been turned off for the original scan under CT surfaces. Click on the Implant List tab on the Open Panels menu on the right and select Custom under the Drill Kit heading. The guide hole diameter and height dimensions need to be manually entered in the Guide Tube subpanel in order to have the correct guide tube dimensions for the GRS surgical rings. Dimensions for all three different size GRS surgical rings have been provided under the Implant subheading for this video and are available at grsguidesystem.com. For this video, we will be using the dimensions for the regular GRS surgical ring and both dimensions for the guide hole diameter and height are simply entered in their respective locations under the guide tube subheading. Once the adjustments have been made, Proceed to the top of the implant list panel and under implants confirm that the drill guide visibility checkbox has been checked. Once completed, go to the top of the screen and click on the virtual tooth icon to hide any teeth that may have been added during the implant planning process. And finally, move to the left and under the panels menu, click on the guide fabrication subheading, which will automatically open and create a tab in the open panels menu to begin the guide fabrication process. To start the fabrication process, confirm the name of the STL model to be used to design the surgical guide. To maximize surgical access at the surgical site during the procedure, check the box associated with Use Automatic Brush, which will remove any unnecessary surgical guide material covering the adjacent teeth. A setting of 15 millimeters is usually sufficient but can be manually adjusted with the slider bar to the right of the brush diameter heading. The guide quality can also be adjusted with a default setting of normal, with additional settings of high and very high as options that will increase internal detail of the surgical guide based on the anatomy of the STL virtual model. Typically, the normal setting will provide for an unencumbered path of insertion and removal as printed, requiring very little post-printing processing. Now to design the surgical guide, confirm either mandible or maxilla and then click on draw curve, which will automatically lock all implants and teeth in the plan position. Prior to designing the surgical guide, make sure that the virtual model is completely opaque and all transparency has been removed by clicking on the surfaces tab, highlighting the model to be used and removing all transparency under the material subheading by using the slider bar to the right. Once completed, click on the Maximize button associated with the 3D virtual model and orient the model to get a clear view of the patient's oral anatomy. To begin designing the surgical guide, simply place the cursor in the desired location for the surgical guide flange extension, hold down the Shift key, and left-click the mouse button to apply a virtual node on the 3D model. Each subsequent node will be connected to the preceding node with a thin line indicating the final position of the surgical guide flange extension. Once all nodes have been placed and connected, verify the overall design taking into consideration all undercuts, interproximal spaces, and anatomic landmarks in order to yield a comfortable and accurately fitting 3D printed surgical guide. If any adjustments are needed, Simply place the cursor on the node to be adjusted, and by clicking and holding the left mouse button, reposition each node into the desired location. If an entirely new design is required, click on Clear Curve under the Surgical Guide submenu. At this point, prior to committing to the surgical guide design, it is recommended to measure the overall length from the tip of the implant to the guide tube platform. This measurement will help determine the drill length required with this design, if modifications are required due to surgical access considerations, and especially for the positioning of adjustable GRS drill stops when used in conjunction with a GRS depth gauge. The process is very straightforward. Simply return to the right side of the screen Click on Implant List and confirm the Drill Guide Visibility checkbox has been checked. 
proceed to the top of the screen and activate the Distance Measure tool displayed as a ruler icon. In the Tangential 5 perspective window, place the active cursor at the base of the implant and left-click the mouse button. Then, keeping the vertical line straight, continue to the upper rim or upper platform of the guide tube and left-click the mouse button again, which will then automatically display the overall measured length. This measurement will then be saved and can be referenced at any time. It's important to note that an additional 1.7 millimeters needs to be added to this measured length if a narrow GRS drill sleeve will be used, or 1.5 millimeter for a regular or wide GRS drill sleeve to account for the flange height of a GRS drill sleeve above the guide tube upper platform. If the measurement needs to be removed for any reason, Simply deactivate the measurement tool, place the cursor on the display box, and right-click the mouse button, and then left-click Remove when displayed. Once the surgical guide design is complete, simply click on the Guide Panel tab and then click Create Surgical Guide. If a handpiece preference is needed to establish the length from the tip of the drill to the head of the handpiece, locate the specific handpiece from the drop-down list and click Save. If this is not a required element, keep the drop-down list on Custom and click Save. The guide fabrication process will automatically begin. Upon completing the surgical guide fabrication, in the 3D modeling window, view different perspectives of the surgical guide resting on the model by placing the pointer anywhere on the virtual image and holding down the left mouse button while moving the cursor in the desired direction. By rotating the surgical guide resting on the model, the design of the guide and overall adaptation of the guide to the model can be observed. It is also suggested to view the surgical guide in its native state by removing the model and guide tube elements from the 3D screen. This is easily accomplished by clicking on the implant icon at the top of the screen to remove the visibility of all implants and guide tubes. Then, highlight the Surfaces menu and turn off the visibility of the original model along with any rendered nerves by clicking on the Nerve List button and turning off Nerve Visibility. After verifying that the surgical guide design meets all surgical requirements and can now be 3D printed, simply go to the upper left of the screen and under the File menu, click on Export Data. The Export Data screen will appear in which to select all of the various items that can be exported for 3D printing. Most often, the only item to be 3D printed is the surgical guide. However, to confirm the physical fit of the surgical guide and to confirm drill depth and orientation, it is highly recommended to 3D print a GRS model as well. Additional videos demonstrating how to create a GRS model using Blue Sky Plan along with the benefits for using a GRS model can be found at grsguidesystem.com. At this point, export each individual STL file separately, select the name and location for the exported data, and click OK. The individually saved items are now ready to be 3D printed. It is important to follow all guidelines recommended by the manufacturers of the 3D printer and resins to ensure a highly accurate print. Once the surgical guide and model have been 3D printed, make sure to seat the guide on the model and make all necessary adjustments to ensure a stable and comfortable fit. After confirming the fit, Insert the proper GRS surgical ring into the surgical guide and affix with the medical grade adhesive. Additional videos demonstrating how to affix the surgical ring to the surgical guide are available at grsguidesystem.com. Once completed, the newly fabricated GRS surgical guide will serve to provide for the most accurate and precise surgical guide for dental implant placement.